G'day guys, it's early in the morning, it's pretty chilly out there and the truck is cold so it's gonna take a while to warm up so I'm just gonna put in the uh, heated seat and uh, go on with the day Great news everyone, I found myself a seat well in fact I found myself a whole interior of a uh, Navalanche so yeah, he sold the whole thing because he wants to swap in the uh, he's got a park truck and he's gonna swap in the uh, the charcoal interior so uh, I bought a how about the whole interior, uh, including this little piece here, just put it there so I don't scratch it, but uh, yeah. G'day guys, I finally found some time to uh, to work on the truck and uh, do the 8-ways uh, the, uh, power seat conversion. So I'm uh, taking everything apart and I made myself a, a lot more work than I should have. And uh, the thing is, the center console, I started tearing it apart, one piece here, and all the, all the stuff, see it's right there. But um, the thing is, I didn't need to do that. All you have to do is remove both seats, because the clip on these, these spots here, yeah, it's pretty messy, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of vacuuming and uh, clean that up. And uh, yeah, all you have to do, you remove those, um, uh, th those seats, and uh, in here, you got two bolts which are underneath the, the cubby holes in here so all you need uh, you need to pull that out remove those two uh, those two bolts and uh, unplug that connector which you can reach by removing uh, pieces of the um, center console but uh, yeah you don't need to remove the side panel or removing the side panel and on the back of it yeah I don't need to do that all I needed was to uh, remove those two bolts there and uh, it slid right out so uh, yeah now um, the reason why I'm doing this is, um, as you can tell, there's a, there's no wire in here, and uh, yeah, it, there needs to be some wires. Uh, yeah, on the other side you can see uh, this is uh, the harness for my uh, my base. The one uh, the one that I had was that base uh, model with only the the uh, the base of the seat working, and um, yeah, it's out. Yeah, I cleaned it up, but it still looks pretty nasty. Um, yeah, I'm wondering uh, how much a replacement cost, but uh, I'm sure I can clean that up. Uh, I cleaned it up before and uh, came out almost looking new. So uh, if it's not for the wear, I'm pretty sure I can get all those uh, coffee stain off. Not too big of a deal, especially with a seat out like that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I am debating a new carpet. Should I? Should I not? I don't know, you tell me. There's a bolt under the cover here that keeps me from uh, pulling it out. Seems there's a cutout in the uh, in the carpet and then this brace is uh, bolted back on. Okay, and uh, my next obstacle is gonna be... No, it's gonna be rain. Yeah, it's gonna be rain. So it's gonna be rain and then this little elbow here. And uh, it's got two screws right here. And this is the elbow that feeds air to the rear passenger, which they uh, they uh, decided to uh, to remove in uh, 2008 and over. So uh, who knows? Uh, and my next obstacle is gonna be my next gonna my next obstacle. So my next obstacle is gonna be this elbow here. Uh, my next. So my next obstacle is going to be, no, 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 it's going to be rain. Yeah, it's going to be rain, but I got more room than a, a New York apartment in here. So I can work in here. So the next part is this elbow. Uh, there's two screws. And this is what feeds the air to a rear passenger, which somehow GM decided to delete and not have in the um, newer trucks. So uh, I'm going to take that out and carpet should pull right out. And that's how we pull it out. Because if you try to roll that back uh, it's gonna get caught in that bracket so uh, you, you take it from the middle here pull all these holes and you push that side down like so and uh yeah that'll work there you go carpet is coming out there we go roll the carpet out of the way and i've got my wiring room here you can see it but on this one, it doesn't have any hookups for uh, the electric seat on the other side because mine was mine was manual. So I gotta replace that whole that whole wiring loom, 
and then I uh, might might have to uh, splice into here somewhere but uh, we'll see maybe I'll just take the wires I need from the other harness and then run them along here add them to the loom and uh, call it good but uh, we'll see how, uh, we see how that works but yeah uh, not too bad on the rust over there I'm gonna have to address that but uh, this is uh, this needs to go but uh, yeah one thing at a time and uh, yeah I got the seats so I'm gonna get I'm gonna have my uh, my seat warmers and uh, I'm gonna jump on that uh, pretty soon now I'm just working on that in between other jobs so uh, yeah might be a little long but uh, yeah so this is this is this assembly and uh, yeah I'm gonna swap the wiring loom next time and uh, put that back together Okay, now I'm uh, laying out the, uh, the wiring looms and I'm uh, comparing both harnesses because it's not from the same truck. So um, I'm labeling all the extras because it's gonna, there's going to be a lot of extras in this, uh, in this thing. And I'm going to label all of that with my, uh, my little P-touch here. And um, yeah, for instance, I found an extra here. Uh, this gray one is an extra, which is good because I'm going to use it to power the uh, the light. So you see this light over there? Uh, in the back door on the crew cab, there's no there's no such things. But uh, on the new door panels I have, they are uh, they are lighted up like this. So I'm going to use this extra to power up the lights. So I'll have lights when I open up the uh, the rear door, and uh, this truck can really use uh, more uh, interior lighting. Uh, it's really bad the way it is. Compared to my 94, my 94 had the uh, brake lights underneath both sill and a dumb light that could uh, that would rival the sun. So um, yeah, so that's one extra as I found here. Uh, the other one is the same, so I'm pretty sure uh, that's the only other option, and it's gonna be this uh, this light here. So uh, yeah, the rest of it I can just uh, fabricate something and uh, run some new wires in the, in the door. I'm not gonna get the door harness because, uh, well, I don't have them and uh, I don't want to mess with them anyways. Uh, it's only hiding a light. So yeah, just putting up, putting them up side by side. I'm checking every single pin and every single color. And uh, yeah, it's not uh, it's it's not a hard job. It just uh, just needs to be done. So yeah, I'll stop. Uh, so yeah, I'll start putting labels on everything that I find uh, being extras and all the differences. So uh, when I look at this later on I know uh, what's going on and I'll also label the whole cable here because uh, yeah it's uh, in case someone else works on the truck uh, they'll uh, they'll be able to see uh, it's uh, it's not the, the current vehicle they're working on and uh, thankfully the install won't be rubbish so uh, yeah I'll start labeling all the hollow wires I find and I'll come back afterwards okay this is pickup truck and that is the avalanche so uh, this will have to be uh, modified but the good thing is and this harness has more wires than what my truck has so that's not a that's not an issue again we wire that that plug into this harness that'll be good and uh, then you have to follow the wire this goes to the brake switch I think the brake switch is uh, the same uh, but uh yeah Quick switch is pretty much the same. So uh, yeah, it's been tempered with here. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, pre probably a uh, remote start or something. So uh, yeah, you gotta fish that out. It goes here, it goes up like that. Uh, there's this this other connector here, and then you just have to pull that through. And uh, then we're gonna change our wiring. This I'm not concerned with. This is her bag. I'm not concerned with that as well. And uh, yeah, so this guy and that guy are gonna be the, the big uh, the big issue here. As you can tell, there's more power wire in this because uh, probably something in the back, um, rear entertainment or something like that. And uh, the extras here, they go up along the door, down there and here. You see uh, they've been cut here. So my truck only has the, uh, the purple one and this one has uh, a lot more. So, um, yeah, these are new extras with power, so that's good. I'm gonna be uh, able to use that in the future for accessories. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, 
that's why I'm doing doing this. I found the interior of an avalanche. Uh, it's a little bit more involved than if you were to just get the, the wiring loom from a uh, from a pickup truck just like this. But uh, the advantage is I can have stuff like those uh, those light here. I'm gonna be able to power them up, so I'll have uh, light when I open up the rear door, and uh, when I unlock the uh, unlock the tr unlock the truck. God damn it, that was a uh, that was harsh. But yeah, um, yeah. So um, I'm gonna pull this. So here they are, side by side. And uh, now uh, we'll just go and compare everything. Make sure we have uh, all the same pins, all the same colors at the right spot. And you got to check both sides of the harness. For instance, if you check this loom here, you got to check at the other end. Make sure uh, all the wires, the colors, um, colors are not important, but that the right color end up to the right, uh, the right pin. So pin by pin. So if this pin is white, at the other end it's white as well, and it's in, in the same spot here and there. Now you're good. Uh, don't take anything for granted. There are a lot of expensive electronic module in these, so you got to be careful. For instance, here I'm looking at it, and uh, I got a thing that's gonna flip that way. Yeah, it goes like so. And uh, both sides seems to be good. There we go. This is the right colors. They go all to the right spots. Yep, so it's the same. We good. This is not gonna be the same. Ah, uh, yeah it is. Yep, that one is equal. That's the same. So these two are good. I'm gonna move further down the line. Now, we already established that these two are different, but what I need here, I need uh, four, four pair of twisted pair, and I need another, another one, and this one's got four twisted pair, and it's got many more, so I gotta choose which one I need, and uh, if the pins are the same size, I might be able to switch connectors and not have to break anything or cut any wires but I doubt that. This one now yeah, it's more uh, it's more populated there's a, a new a new orange wire and another control wire green one here which uh, I'm not gonna use so um, yeah it doesn't matter I can just plug it in and uh, whatever is at the end uh, is not connected anyways but uh, I might just pull these pin out tape them out out of the way so there's no voltage going somewhere it doesn't belong so there's no termination but uh, yeah this is good and uh, the thing I have to do is uh, for the um, the airbag or the um, the seat belt connector right here this is only populated by two wires and uh, that one has four because it's got a airbag um, in the seat and not just the seat belt. So as you can tell, there's uh, there's two pin missing here, which I'm not gonna use. And but my the one I use are already there. So this will just plug in. But uh, yeah, these two they're not going anywhere. But uh, they're not gonna be used anyways. So that's good. And the one I'm missing on the truck is this guy here. And um, I don't know what it's used for I'm gonna find out I'm gonna come back afterwards in another, in another video so I'm gonna plug that bit that that big guy in and uh, then I gotta tape the old uh, the whole harness up and put the little clips okay passenger side same thing on that door this wire that goes to all this loom goes to the rear doors and uh, yeah, as you can tell, I put a, a little thing here since I don't have any uh, tape for the P-touch. So this is my extra for the light. I'm gonna use that eventually. That's figured out. On the front, though, you can tell there's a there's my airbag and a safety thing right there. Same thing on that side. I got my two, the two I'm using. The truck used those two, and these are the extras, probably for the airbag. I don't know. I got this guy to figure out and that one as well 
and this I don't have any any ways to plug it same with this one so these two they have nothing on the truck side so far uh, I'm gonna dig a little bit further uh, and we'll see uh, if I need to do a, a custom job of that but now I'm just gonna put the wiring loom in and uh, test it with the seats The old and with the new. In this case, that's the opposite because the wiring holder harness is older than my truck, but you know it works. That's the original, and uh, it's using the bottom, the bottom two pins. So this guy here should use the bottom two pins, and brown and brown and beige. Yeah, snap right in. Put the lock in there. There we go. That's for uh, safety stuff. Okay, feeding it the long hand so it's there and I plug that connector there now this goes into a channel here I'm gonna have to tighten all that up and remove that clip the extra here and I'll put the other one in and uh, yeah so now it goes down what's missing is this guy here don't really need that and it should plug in that guy so got to convert this to this and uh, should be good. I got my plug here. Difference here is this, uh, these two here. That brown one here is replaced by that yellow and brown one here. So yeah, I guess they were they wanted something to tell them apart, but. Uh, yeah, if I follow the wires, this guy keeps going to the back of the cab, and these three they go there. So uh, I know they are the they are the right ones. So I'm just gonna splice these in, and uh, should have it uh, working good. And this guy here, this goes to the seat here, and then it comes back down and goes somewhere else. And my uh, in my harness this guy goes to the connector on the seats right here which is uh, somewhere uh, at the bottom of the screen so uh, then it goes into that plug here which I uh, I opened up so this blue one here goes to here and then it comes out here and it keeps on going so uh, yeah I'm gonna place these guy in gonna get it all nice and insulated but uh, I ran out of um, each ring tube so I only got a, a small quantity over there but um, yeah we'll see how that goes so we'll just do uh, one wire at a time and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have it done in no time So, green is cut off and it's going in. Of course I'm gonna solder them, but um, a lot of people they are against soldering. They say it's gonna break the wires through vibration. But the truth is, uh, your wiring loom shouldn't be vibrating all the way around, and it shouldn't be shouldn't be moving too much. And uh, I've never had an issue. I guess I uh, I take care in uh, supporting my harnesses good enough that it doesn't do that. 
But uh, yeah, I can uh, I can understand. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen wire breaking right at the end of a solder joint. But if you do it right and you, you put those little sleeves on, they're not going to be uh, able to move much, and it's going to spread the load over the uh, the thickness of, the thickness of the wire and the uh, original uh, insulation. So it should be good. These three, these three are not going to be used, so uh, I just taped them up and uh, I'm going to put them away in the harness. Now we have a bunch of extras here which you don't need. Only one I need to make my truck work is this, uh, this purple one. I'm just going to cut it off and uh, splice it in here. Last thing to do is, is to swap this connector and I already checked that all the wires are going to the right spot. Uh, the extra on in there, they don't matter because they all taped up uh, as you saw in the other uh, in the other looms. So uh, yeah, all I got to do is swap these out and uh, that plastic that plastic piece here with the registration, registration mark, uh, they, have, they have two tabs. So all you have to do is uh, pop those up and uh, you'll be good. I tried to put the newer connector uh, from my truck onto the old wiring uh, plug but that didn't work and uh, yeah I, I went the lazy route and uh, I removed that thing here on the other one so it fits in there but but don't do that unless you've uh, you've checked all the wires all the colors and all, all where these all of these go and I did so I did my homework so I can do that Okay, I got it. I got the seat installed and um, the passenger side wasn't working in manual mode. 
uh, the driver he is and uh, well I'll trace that back to a bad ground and uh, what you have to do you probe those Halloween wires you see there's a black and an orange one and these are the power they are hot at all time and uh, I did that on the other side and trace it back to the ground so I came back in my loom here because I had two spare ground which uh, doesn't make sense because there's one power there should be only one ground and I trace it back to this one so uh, you can just plug both of them they're, they are ground I come from this so, so I'm gonna use this grounding post here and uh, put a termination on it and ground it here with the rest of the wiring harness that grounds here and uh, that should be good There you go, all taped up, looks good enough for me. And uh, I'm gonna have to tape that guy up just in case the water gets in it. But uh, I wouldn't think so. Well, look what I found. I stopped for, uh, for a little bite to eat and uh, found a uh, General Lee cars without the flag on top but uh, a charger. I guess it's a charger. Can you guys tell? I think, that, I think it is, but it's like 70 or whatever. I don't think it's a 69. But yeah, that's not about uh, the video. It's not about the General Lee. It's about the ETC. I've been using it for two months now and everything works as expected as you can see everything works just fine and um, also on the other side it works on the other side as well as you can tell and that side got the manual control now well the electric control which it didn't before so it moves and all that stuff which is good it's got a lumbar and side uh, side restraint same thing on mine here and uh, yeah, the only thing left to do for it, for the seats to work exactly like the uh, factory seat that would be installed in this truck if I had bought a uh, Canadian vehicle with this option. But um, yeah, this is the the memories. So far, the body control module gets the message, but it doesn't have those lines of code inside the config here. Because in here, you have all, all the setups and you can put it to uh, memory seat on or off and you can also have the option of uh, entry so when you turn off the truck the seat backs up and it uh, gives you more room to get out when you're get when you're big and fat and uh, you need those uh, those little things so yeah that's the uh, that's the thing that needs to be done but I'm not I haven't done it yet because I I gotta get to a guy which has the tech to and uh, if I'm to do that I'm gonna replace the switch first I got another one from the Escalade um, but uh, the Escalade has a power folding and not power extending. And power extending is this. Which I really like because these, uh, these mirrors, they're not, uh, they're not noisy at all. And when you extend them like that, it's just perfect with the trailer. It just gives you that little inch more that you need. So yeah, I got a... And on that side, as you can tell, it's not, it's not moving because water got in it and it damaged the uh, the board so uh, there's nothing I can do about that uh, I checked it up but uh, the SD chip that's on that that's on there it's perfectly dead and as well as most of the lines around they corroded and uh, yeah it needs to be replaced but I got a, I got the other one uh, yes yeah, so I'm gonna replace the door panel paint the, the other one because the other one's got a gray bar here and I'm going to replace it for this because uh, this has been bugging me for a while now. It was my watch that uh, made a little uh, nick there. And so I'm going to 
paint the piece there and also gonna grab the carpet on that one and swap it over because on the other one the carpet is uh, great and uh, yeah same thing with the belts I really don't like this two tone so I'm gonna have to do that but that's it for uh, the heated seat I hope you like the video I hope it helps you out so any um, any cars that came with that option after 2003 uh, you can use it even if it's not the right model truck or car even if it's a suburban if it's a avalanche an escalade whatever um, yeah you can use uh, you can use any wiring harness and you can just do it like I did and uh, modify where you need to be where it needs to be and the body control module is gonna see it it needs to be 2003 and up though because uh, 2000 to 2002 uh, it's not the same thing it's not can boss integrated and all that stuff so uh, it's different but uh, 2003 to 2007 you can use whatever you've got it'll work so talk to you later guys i'm off to heat uh, something because i'm really hungry right now so there you go guys i hope you like it and uh, talk to you later